Hello, this is a uh, short video just demonstrating the process to attach a uh, waveguide flange to some waveguide. Uh, here's one I prepared earlier. As you can see it's a, a bit of a messy job. The tools you're going to need and roughly in the order that you're going to need them are a uh, Stanley knife, hacksaw, pliers, snips, ball peen hammer, allen key, adjustable wrench or suitably sized spanner, a uh, small flathead screwdriver, electrical tape and some plumber's tape and of course the flange itself. The first thing you'll need to do is to cut the waveguide to length. We're actually using a flex guide between the radio and the, uh, the flange so we're cutting it off up the top here rather than running the waveguide directly into the radio. Now you don't need to worry if this is not square or exactly to length because we're going to cut off a small piece of it again anyway. The next step will be to peel back some of the coating on the waveguide itself. And one, uh, one way to do this is to count back roughly five to seven ridges or valleys in the, uh, the actual corrugation of the waveguide and then uh, cut your way around. And then make a small cut up to the end. Grab your pliers to make it a bit easier. And there you go. The bit you want to start with is actually the back end of the uh, flange. And you want to try and slide that over. Sometimes this will go on quite easily like it has this time around. Other times you might have to use your pliers to fold in some of the edges to uh, make it a bit easier. And the next step, again, is some more cutting. And what you want to do is uh, cut the, the waveguide itself a couple of millimeters from the actual face of the, uh, the waveguide flange here. Okay, now that we've cut this back, probably need to look at removing just all the junk out of the end of the waveguide here. You want to try and keep this as clean as possible. So now you take the little snips and what you want to do is go around and cut a series of tabs because what we'll do is we'll use the hammer to fold these back and that will hold the, uh, the back end of the flange onto the waveguide okay now you take the hammer and gently fold these tabs that you've just cut over and that should be relatively solid on there now what you may also find is that some of these tabs are a bit too long and they'll interfere with the, uh, the gasket when we put it in so just want to take the snips again and shorten these up a bit And then once again, use your hammer to fold it all back over. Next thing you'll want to do is put the gasket in. This goes between the, uh, the back end of the flange and the front end of it. And then, I found it's easier if you put these screws in now, through the holes in the gasket. It'll make it a lot easier to put the uh, front end of the flange on later. Ok, 
Okay, it's all four screws in his room now. So you just want to slot the front of the, uh, the flange over. Might take a little bit of fiddling. And then uh, start to screw the uh, screws in. Now that I've got those started, I'm going to take your Allen key and uh, tighten them up properly. And squeaky tight is it the same. Okay. The next thing to do will be to put the sealant in. But before we do that, I'm going to seal off the back part of the flange, and this will just stop the, uh, the sealant, which is really messy stuff, just from going out of too many places and all over everything. Okay. Now the sealant is called Plaz 2000 and it's basically a like silicon. It comes in tubes like you get like bone cream or something in. And you'll need roughly one and a half of these for each connector. Uh, I've got a half here from the last connector I did, so I'll keep that handy. And to get this started, take off the cap, poke a hole in the end of the tube. You won't need this lid, so you can get rid of it. And then you screw it into the, uh, the port, which you can't really see, but it is there. And screw it in all the way enough to hold it there and then you use this little t-piece to start squeezing it in and what we're aiming to do is get the, uh, the sealant to come out as much as possible around this uh, gap or this seal here this is where these two parts meet and then we'll also be able to see the tape starting to bulge at the back and once we see that, and we've got it running everywhere and creating a big mess, we know that uh, we've done it right. Now it's started to come out the front here, on my side. Sometimes you will need a little bit more than one and a half tubes. Just play it by ear. I've got a few tubes spare, so I'm alright. Now it's starting to drip down, and I can see a bulge appearing up here, and there is some more around the back. And that's bulging out quite nicely at the back here, and it's leaking almost all the way around. This part, this gap here is quite tight. So I wouldn't be surprised if none of it will actually come out of there. So I'll remove that tube. Grab the little plug. That's really leaking out of here now. Stick it in. Screw it in. Clean your fingers. And that's that. That's one uh, waveguide flange attached. And you can see it's still dripping. It will continue to drip for a couple of minutes, but then it'll harden up and uh, we'll be done.